I'm back with a very highly requested video. Um, it's a twist out tutorial and although I have several twist out tutorial videos on my channel I still keep getting requests so um, maybe it'll be different this time because my hair is a lot longer than it was uh, with the pre with the twist out tutorials that's on my channel now. So I am going to use all of my products, well two of them, uh, for the twist out that I'm going to show you but if you watched my previous video, uh, today is Sunday and today would have been three weeks uh, since I had did my hair. Never in history have I ever gone three weeks without doing my hair, ever, ever, even when I was relaxed, ever. So. Um, I, I think really I was able to get away with it because I did not do my normal workout schedule. I do not believe that I can go three weeks without doing my hair with my workout schedule. So I am back on the wagon next week. I was just so busy um, with a lot of stuff. I just could not work out. I just didn't have that many hours of the day, so I couldn't. But I'm back on the schedule. And I'm, I know I'm going to pay for it because you take three weeks off you're gonna pay for it. I know I do, especially as a runner. So what I did last night, I pre-pooed overnight with the original Moxie Emollients pre-treatment. I love it, it's a little pricey, um, but you don't, you don't, I mean, I've had it for a while and I'm only probably like halfway through. So it is worth the money. And I actually shampooed my hair with the Chagrin Valley Coconut Milk uh, Shampoo Bar. And it really cleansed my hair. I mean, my hair was like squeaky, squeaky clean. And I wanted that because I hadn't washed my hair in three weeks, washed or co-washed, right? And then what I did, I detangled with the Shea Moisture Purification Mask. Cause this right here is gives you slip for days, slip for days. Let it sit in a little bit, rinse it out, and I deep conditioned with Coils by Nature, the Hydrating Shalo Creamy Conditioner. Uh, this is different from the leave-in, so this is a different conditioner, and I, I um, conditioned with the heat therapy wrap, you know, even when it, I, I, let, I always leave it on for about 30 minutes, but I just, I actually left the conditioner in my hair for probably about an hour and 10 minutes and rinsed it out, and my hair is like super soft, so I, I did all of that in twist. So what I'm getting ready to do now is, of course, I am not going to stay on camera and twist my entire head. My hair is already detangled. And this is what I do. So I'm going to take my ultimate hair treat. Ah, just dropped it. Probably about that much, if you can see. And my hair is wet. It's not soaking wet, but it is wet. Smooth it on. And put a little bit more on the ends. And I kind of twirl my ends. Make sure it's nicely coated. And then I'm going to take probably about a, a half a pump of the Hair Perfection, which is about that much. Separate into two sections and then I'm going to twist. The technique is the same, the game is the same, the players just change, and players is products. So the technique will always be the same. I cannot flat twist. I mean, you could put a gun in my head and I, I can't flat twist. I'm sorry, I would just die, I guess. I can't do it. I don't, I don't, I can't even French break, cornrow, 
this is the best I can do. I tried a nap 85s way her twist out and I just get so frustrated I guess it, it takes me too long to do it but that I could probably do if I just kept practicing but sometimes you just don't have time <laughs> to do that so I take another section put in the hair treat it just glides on super smooth it plays well with a lot of stylers. I just didn't test it with my own. I tested it with other stuff. It plays well with all my favorites. And with this, what I'm doing, this twist out, you don't have to use my products. This is this technique you use with whatever products that works for your hair. Take another half a pump of the hair perfection. And I'm smoothing it through. Twirling the ends. Separating and twist. Right. And twist all the way down. And then you can twirl your fingers if you want. You can also, if you want, add a little bit more gel at the end and twirl them, keep them twirled together if they won't stay. And I'll do one more. So these are like medium to chunky twists. I cannot do small. It just does not work out for me. It gives me that crimp crochet braid type look. I don't like that look personally on myself. I take some more conditioner, leave in my treat, smooth it on. And it just, my hair just absorbs this and it makes it just it's just super soft very moisturizing very take my hands again add more hair perfection smooth it on take it down from root to tip This section right here, this is the jungle right here. This is my roughest, toughest section. Separate and twist. And the reason I take this, this part here and twist it upward is because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to articulate this right. You know in the back when you I it it it, may, it gets it closer to the root when I take it up because the way that I wear it I don't want to have like a hump of like this much of my root not twisted so if you pull it up and twist it takes it all the way down to like your almost your scalp so I twist up and then I bring it down so that's kind of like a little trick Get a little more on the ends. Now, another thing you can do, and I didn't do it when I did my uh, initial twist the last time. You can take a butter or a pomade or whatever you want, and I'm going to take my own uh, shine and seal. Take a little bit, and you could go around your ends too. I, I can do this with my shine and seal, with the Reve uh, hair and body butter, whatever pomade butter of your choice, whatever your hair likes, you can do it just to give your ends an extra added, you know, just to seal in the moisture. That's what you're doing, just sealing it all in. Okay, so I am going to finish up the rest of my hair and I'll come back and you can see how my twists look after and what I do to kind of stretch them out. I'll be back. Back. Uh, and I have about 15 twists total, so that's medium. And what I do to my version of stretching, I take the back and as much as I can get in a ponytail, 
I ponytail them. So I do this. And then these, I just, I pin like to the back on the sides. And then I just sleep with my bonnet. Now my hair is still too wet now, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I do before I get ready to go to bed. So I, I let them hang as much as possible, you know, just until I get ready to go to bed. And then I take the back and put it in a ponytail. And then I pin the, start to pin the sides and back. And it's just these two right here. I pin in the, these in the front, I leave them out. So that's it. I will try to come back uh, for the takedown and the final results. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.